Five Unusual People in the World, Part 86. Hello everyone, I'm Keisha. Nice to see you all again in this video. There are some pretty amazing people living on this planet, but sometimes we may see someone completely different. You may think they are made up if you just hear about them. Let's meet them through this video. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number 5. April Atkins According to many records from the mid-1950s on California's famous Muscle Beach, there was a girl who frequently blew other people's mind by such perfect strength feet that many people couldn't believe it when they heard it. Her name is April Atkins, was born in 1942 in California, USA. Unlike other grown-up strong people, with an unusually large physical explosion, she was only 7th grade at the time and weighed only 79 pounds. And among those giants, the muscular girl proved herself to be the strongest girl in the world. April can do extraordinary things, from carrying the weight of 4 adults or 710 pounds on her back, to holding a man's full weight by hanging upside down from a single bar, and many other forms of power. Apart from these photos and videos, nothing about her has appeared in the press. So what happened to her? The limit of her power is still a mystery. If you happen to know her or someone who has, let me know, as I am also very curious about the truth behind this woman. India has many different cultures, which makes them always have very different stories compared to the rest of the world. Number 4. The Bull Mishra The Bull Mishra, born in 1988 from Sarchanhanpur, Uttar Pradesh, India, was born with an unfortunate condition that caused his face and lips to become overgrown. But he still gets VIP treatment from the villagers and is worshipped as the reincarnation of a Hindu god. Mishra works as a local priest at an Indian temple and supports his family with donation he receives from devotees. Although Mishra calls his condition a curse, the villagers around him believe it to be an incarnation of Lord Chambavanta, an Indian god. Although he has always considered this a curse, being respected as a god nonetheless can make him proud of it. Mishara also tried going to many hospitals, losing almost all of his fortune on the treatment, but the doctors could not find him a reasonable treatment. Unfortunately, his wife is blind and can't earn money, and he never accepts the job of a beggar, so he still has to work hard to support his family with three children and his wife. So, the surgery will definitely need the help of many people. We always think that it would be hard if we had too many children, this man has hundreds of children, but he doesn't worry about it. Number 3. Kirk Maxey Kirk Maxey, born in 1959 in Michigan, USA, is one of the men with the most children in the world. He even worries that some of them will be incest because they don't even know that they are siblings. The truth is that Kirk Maxey is the world's largest sperm donor. Between 1980 and 1994, he donated to a hospital in Michigan twice a week and tracked the success through the number of pregnancies. Estimatedly, he is now the father of nearly 400 children throughout the state of Michigan and even across the United States. When Maxi was a medical student at the University of Michigan, his first wife, a nurse at an obstetrics hospital, convinced her husband to donate sperm to infertile couples. Maxi became the breeder for this hospital because his sperm has a high pregnancy rate and brings money to the hospital. Now that the conscience is nagging him for having produced too much, he has become a staunch supporter of government laws relating to the sale of donated sperm. He also made his genome public in the hope that the information gathered from this project would be useful to his children and their mothers one day. Don't rush to leave YouTube because we still have other weird people to discover. Number 2. Jose Serrano Jose Antonio Ramirez Serrano was born in 2003 in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. Since childhood, he had to carry a cyst in his neck. As the boy grew older, the tumor grew larger and larger, 
which was life-threatening, partially obstructing his windpipe and putting pressure on his heart and lungs. This caused many inconveniences in Jose's daily life. He couldn't swim, play football, or ride a bike like his peers. These activities made Jose feel exhausted quickly, and especially, water can damage his skin. Jose not only suffered from the huge tumor, but also had to face the stigmatizing and prying eyes of strangers. Jose's mother said that, this is very difficult. People keep staring at him. Some people even show disdain towards him. In 2012, the U.S. Homeland Security Investigation Agency helped Jose go to the U.S. for treatment at the University of New Mexico Hospital. There, Jose was diagnosed with lymphangioma of the neck. Doctors said that Jose had to undergo many surgeries to remove the huge layer of fluid that had accumulated in his neck. The 12-hour surgery involved 25 medical professors. Jose will then undergo surgery to reconstruct his shoulder bone and remove excess skin. Admittedly, we have the right to eat and drink whatever we want as long as it's not against the law. But indeed, in the world, there are still people who are extremely weird with their food habits. Number 1. Heather Bill Heather Bill, born in 1971, living in Alabama, a state in the southeast of the United States, has a terrible diet that I advise you to never follow her. Heather is literally addicted to drinking paint. Heather said that she started this odd hobby since her mother died in 2011. She often goes to the stationery store to buy paint pens, the kind of paint that paints on any surface. Every day, she drinks all the paint in a pen, and every year, she drinks about 4 liters of paint. This also means that sellers will never have to worry about poor sales. She also said that she has tried different types of paint in the barrel, but nothing has satisfied this odd hobby. Paint pens are the perfect choice for her addiction. She said that, when I drank it to my throat, it was warm and great, like milk. Obviously, it has a chemical taste, but I love it. According to health authorities, paint can cause central nervous system depression similar to alcohol. The abuse of paint has a great impact on mental health. Users can lose the ability to walk, talk, or think. After being warned by doctors about this odd habit with many dangers to health, Heather understood and gradually gave up the habit of drinking paint. I don't think I would discriminate or make fun of someone who has unusual features on their body. They are unique and they deserve respect. If you know someone special, leave your comments below. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. And now, goodbye and see you again.